Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. There has been a new leaked ship coming from Crusader Industries called the Ares, so let's take a look at what we can be expecting. As always, a huge thank you to all my patrons. It is a big thank you to you guys that I get to make these sort of videos. So if you do enjoy my content and would like to help support me even further, follow the link below. So there was a recent photo leaked during what looked to be a tour of the Star Citizen Studios. In the background, you could see a whiteboard with a list of ships. All of them, bar one, were revealed at this year's CitizenCon. We have the Pisces, the Kraken Privateer and the Argo Mole. The one that is not mentioned this year so far was the Crusader Ares. It also has a 1212 next to it, which could mean that it'll go on sale on the 12th of December, likely alongside the Argo Mole. Now, the leaks seem to say that it's a smallish fighter, potentially around the size of a 325A. Obviously, take all of this with a pinch of salt. But with a name like Ares, the God of War, I personally don't think the name suits a smallish fighter. And then on the same token, Crusader have not really built a small ship so far. Not to say that they never would, but maybe there's a pattern here. I am going to put myself out there and say that the Crusader Ares could be a potential new capital ship or large vessel. Just a thought, there's no confirmation at, on that at all, but there's also no reason to believe that it's a small fighter either. So we will have to wait and see, but do let me know what you think in the comments below. Anyway, there is no word as to whether it'll be flight ready or not. If it is a small fighter, there's a good chance it will be. If it isn't, if it is a capital ship, then there's a good chance that it won't be. But CIG have stated that they are trying to get into the habit of revealing ships in the flight ready state. No price is known, no images are shown, and we know very little at the moment. If it is a smallish fighter, then there'll be little chance of there being an interior, as fighters are not often used on long duration flights, unless it's something more speciality like a Vanguard. But if it is a new capital ship, I would love to know what your thoughts are or amongst what type of capital ship. Now Crusader are responsible for the Genesis Starliner, the Hercules range of transport ships and the Star Runner, all very exciting ships. And there's not a single ship from this manufacturer that I dislike. In fact, I did just CCU my Glaive to a C2 their ships are recognised for having sleek, soft curves, double wings, large intakes, an air scoop and hump on the top, plus simple geometric windows. Now, if it is a fighter, this ship is going to look incredible from Crusader. The aesthetic is something I am very fond of, so it'll be exciting to see what they can come up with and how effective it will be as a fighter. And the same really goes for anything on the larger scale. A, cra a capital ship from Crusader would look really cool, especially when you look at the Hercules. There's just something very nice about them. Now we know Crusader are not present at this year's IAE, which they which was mentioned in a recent post, but whether this goes on sale from the 12th or is flight ready is anyone's guess, but again I'd love to hear your thoughts on it all. With that said, let me know what you think. I'm not fussed for more fighter ships, but I am excited to see what Crusader can do. Hit that subscribe button for more Star Citizen content. Like the video if you're excited to see more and follow me over on twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrothersryan. Come and hang out with us live and tell me what you think. Thank you to all my patrons. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.